Bicycling accidents among kids became a big interest for UI psychology professor Jody Plummer. She decided to team up with the Department of Computer Sciences to get her answer. Together, they created the bike simulator. The simulator consists of a stationary bike surrounded by three screens. The screens show the rider a virtual street, and the virtual car's speed depends on how fast the rider is pedaling. There are sensors on the back wheel of the bike. They send the information into the computers. Those computers will render in real time the visuals, the graphics that correspond to the person's movement through the virtual environment. So that means as you speed up, you appear to go faster through the virtual environment, and as you put the brakes on, you'll slow down, or if you turn, you'll appear to turn. The main goal of this simulator is to observe the differences between children and adults when crossing traffic on a bike. The information found that a 10-year-old child and an adult tend to cross the street at the same gaps in between cars. But when an adult would start pedaling across the street, the 10-year-old doesn't. This leaves more room between the child and the first car, but it also leaves less room between the child and the oncoming car. This is what makes it easier for a child to get hit by a vehicle. Christina Targos, Daily Iowan TV.